This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Terms of Our Parak Zion. Hech Yagel Adam Atzavis HaTeferas. How can a person accustom himself in the middle of Teferas? The Tarmid Bar, the Ramak, he says, Teferas is undoubtedly learning Taira. One must be careful not to be arrogant when one learns Taira. Teferas, of course, is Taira. Yaakov Vino is the middle of Teferas. Because by being arrogant, you cause tremendous harm. Because the same way you're being Mizgoya, you're causing Teferas, which is the Taira, to be arrogant and to sort of be rise above the world. The more you lower yourself to learn Torah, you're causing Tiferes to be mashpil and to be mashpia to the Midah of Malchus. Now below Tiferes there are four Midahs, which are Netzach, Hoyd, Yisoyed, and Malchus. So basically by lowering yourself into very Torah, you're causing Tiferes to be mashpia on uh, the lower spheroids. Because Tiferes is the male, and it is the most influential, the biggest mashpia in the spheroids. Fine. Now the the Tamadavar gives three examples of one who may be arrogant in his learning. So the Tamadavar says, somebody could be arrogant with his students. By doing so, he's going to cause Teferas to be above the Limudei Hashem. What are the Limudei Hashem? Netzach and Hoid are the Limudei Hashem. One who teaches with love. So he causes Teferas to lower itself to his students and to be mashpia on Netzach and Hoid. Therefore one should be uh, calm and benachas to his talmidim, and cause the, and teach them in a manner that they are able to tolerate. And in that merit, Ferris will be mashpia on Netzach and Hoyd. Number two, another type of arrogance is when a person is mizgoya in it with his Torah on the Oni, and he uh, is mavaza the Oni, like the Gemara in Tainus mentions on Daf Chaf, when Rosh Hashanah Lazar had an appearance, had a revelation by Eliyahu, and Eliyahu appeared like a very despicable, disgusting person. And Reb Shem ben Al-Azhar sort of displayed a certain uh, degree of arrogance. And by doing so, if you're arrogant to the Ani, now which Sphira is compared to an Ani? That is Yisoid. <coughs> Yisoid is the Ani. So you're going to cause Teferes to be Mizgoa on Yisoid and not to be Mashpi on it. However, if your Das is Miyushav with the Ani, then Teferes could be Mashpi on Yisoid and therefore the Ani should be very valuable and very important. The downtrodden and lowly person should be very important in the eyes of the Chacham because that will cause Teferes to be Mashpi to Yisoid. And thirdly, there, it's possible to mizgoa over Ame Aretz, which are also part of the nation of Hashem. And if one is mizgoa over Ame Aretz, you cause Teferes to be mizgoa over Malchus, but instead one's Das should be Ma'urav Ima Briois. And all of the people of God should be Chasha before you, because they are all here, but Aretz. Now the Malchus is compared to Aretz. Now if Chas Shalom, you call Ame Aretz donkeys then um, you bring them down to the Klippos. And the Gemara Nadarm says, one will not be zoiche to a Ben who is a Tamar Chacham. But instead you should be noig with them, Benachas, calmly, Alpi Darkam, just like Tiferes is Mashpia to Malchus. Malchus is like the Oretz. Now, interestingly, Malchus is a woman. By the way, which one of the Imahis is Malchus? Rachel. Rachel Imenu is Malchus. And just like Tiferes is Mashpia and Malchus, Lefi Anias Daita, we know Noshim, Daita and Shal Noshim Kala. Noshim's Das is Kal, so therefore Tiferes cannot overwhelm Malchus. So, including this, is one should not be arrogant over those of weak intelligence. And for this reason, the Kadmoinim, the Torah brought various reference, various stories of Kadmoinim that were not Mizgoe in their Torah, and so on. Now, the Torah just concluded that the, uh, when one converses in Torah, one should have in mind that they're being misaking the Shechina, and to rectify the Shechina, and to beautify Tiferes. Tiferes is a combination, is called Shamayim which is a combination of chesed and gevura. So one should have in mind that when they debate in Torah, it's for it to be masaki in the Shechina, 
but in no way should one do so lekanter because that could be damaging to Teferes. Furthermore, when one benefits from Taira, he's poi game in the Midah of Teferes. He brings it to the mundane. However, when one learns Taira only for HaKadosh Baruch Hu's sake, Ashrei Chelkoi. Okay, Rabbi Yisrael, so that concludes the Midah of Teferes. The bottom line is, since Teferes is Taira, one wants to make sure Teferes is continues to be mashpia to the world, and one accomplishes that by not being mizgoya over his talmidim, over the ani, and over the amiyar. It's perik ches netzach and hoid. <coughs> netzach and hoid are called students. Limude Hashem. They are the um, now some of the tikkunim that Torah says of netzach and hoid are joined between netzach and hoid. And some of them are specific to Netzach and specific to Hoyt. The first one is, if one wants to ensure that the Midos of Netzach and Hoyt are operating in this world, the first thing you need to do <coughs> is you need to assist the Lom Dei Torah, strengthen the Lom Dei Torah financially with your actions to prepare their needs, to prepare their food, so that they should not be bato from Torah. One should be extra careful not to disparage their teaching, not to cause them to slacken off, but rather to honor and praise their deeds, to strengthen them in their avoida, to, pr- to, uh, sort of, to facilitate that they have the svarim they need, and the location they need. And any similar way that one is mechazek oiske Torah, one is mechazek netzach and hoid. And everyone should do according to their ability, whether small or a lot. The, the, the end of the matter is, the more your mechabe, the Torah, strengthen the Torah, bedibor, begufai, uvemamaynoi, and your ma'oyrer, people, <coughs> to strengthen in the Torah, and to strengthen the loimdei Torah, then you are mushrush in the midos of Netzach and Hoid, which are called machazikimba. So that's the first way to strengthen Netzach and Hoid, by being machzik loimdei Torah. But, Furthermore, one who learns Torah should try to acquire the attribute of learning Torah from everyone. Because Torah is not mishtalim from one Rav. Torah requires many teachers. And therefore one follows the attribute of David HaMelech, namely, Mikol Melamdai Hiskalti. From all of my teachers, I became wise. And when you become a student to everyone, then you become the Merkava of Netzach and Hoid, which are Limude Hashem. And when you're Mashpia Torah, then you're the Madrig of Teferes. So when you sit and you learn your Zoycha, that Teferes is Mashpia Netzach and Hoid, and you are, you are on that very Madrega. Now, interestingly, when you learn Chumish, which comes from the right side, Miminoi Eish Das Lamai, that is the Midah of Netzach. When you learn Mishnah, that is the left side, Midas Hadin, when you learn Gemara, which is a, incorporates both, you're Misaki in both Midas. And finally, chapter 8 concludes with a brief discussion of the Midah of Yesoid. How does one uh, accustom himself with the Midah of Yesoid? A person has to be very careful from speech that causes improper thoughts so that you don't come to carry. Or... Obviously not to say anything which is overtly lewd or in, uh, matters of impropriety. But even pure speech that could bring to improper thought, one should be careful. And this is uh, Meduyik in the Lashon of the Pasuk. Al titain es picha lachti es pesarecha. It warns, don't cause your mouth to bring sin to your flesh, which is the Oispres Kodesh. Now it doesn't say that what you said is a sin in and of itself, because what you said is pure and clean. It's lahakti, it could lead to it. But we're talking about pure speech, that could lead to impure speech. Likewise, the Talmud of said that one should be careful that the Midah of Yesoid, which is the Oispris Kodesh, is only <coughs> arched for one sole purpose. The same way the arch of Shamayim, of Yesoid, is only primed to be mashpia on Malchus, Malchus is the target. So too, one should be careful not to arouse himself to allow the Oispris Kadosh to be active only Litzad Ishtoi when she's Tahar, Bishas Zivug. Otherwise, one is play game in the Midah of Yesoid. So when one um, is careful in their speech and one is careful in the Oispris uh, Kadosh, that's all part of Yesoid. By the way, this sort of substantiates the idea that we said that. You saw it, uh, that improper, that speech, <coughs> speech, the, uh, the uh, 
bris peh is connected to the ois bris kaidesh. Okay, Rabbi Yisai, on um, tomorrow there will not be a Tarmid of Arashir. And we'll finish up next week. What we'll do is, we'll spend one or two days reviewing, and then we're going to do, um, on Reb Nassim Sheets, one day we're going to review the whole Sefer very quickly. Very, uh, a short review. Okay, so Rabbi Yisai, have a great day. Thanks everyone for coming. And uh, Kol Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.